great birthdays do start at Woodlawn Hospital. And speaking of Woodlawn Hospital, we've got Woodlawn CEO uh, Alan Fisher joining us. Thank been you. been a minute since we got to sit and chit-chat. How are you doing? Very good. Well, everybody's on vacation, so you know what? We're not that deep in the bullpen. They call me up. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. We've got the A-team here now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, uh, Woodlawn's staying busy. There, there's a lot yes. of changes that have been going on, not necessarily with Woodlawn, but that are good for Woodlawn. The healthcare community in uh, regions to our north and to our south are really going through some ch uh, changes right now. One of which, of course, is in Plymouth with the closing of their uh, OB department. We are actively uh, marketing up there and let folks in Plymouth know that we offer OB services, a complete um, line of um, labor and delivery services as well as physicians to help birth the babies. Uh, the, we have uh, dedicated folks that are just remarkable, our staff, uh, you can't find them anywhere better than what we've got here. And that's what makes it so nice to come to Woodlawn to have those services. What we've noticed over the last month, though, not only OB picking up, but overall business is picking up. Our financial picture is starting to take a little bit of a turn positively. And I, I remain cautiously optimistic, but we're trending right. And that's what's making uh, where we're going so much um, fun and exciting in, in our direction. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I've been talking to uh, some people. Um, my daughter just came of age um, for everything with the, the women problems. Not problems, but, you know, uh, stuff. <laughs> we'll, we'll say. <laughs> um, and I've been talking with a bunch of other people, and I already knew where we were going to go, but everybody that I'm talking to recommends Woodlawn Hospital's OB department. Uh, great group of folks there, mm -hmm. and... Absolutely. They work well together, and you know, Dr. Klein, Dr. Adebayo came from another hospital. They mm -hmm. kind of came, ended up being as a package deal, right? And they do wonderful things there. Um, everybody I've talked to speaks very highly of the OB department at Woodlawn. Oh, hospital. they're great. And you also have Dr. Celio, yes, and uh, who specializes in women's health. She is fantastic. Up in Argus, we have Dr. Ricketts, Dr. Sanders up there and uh, who are well, well-respected physicians in the area. Uh, Dr. Rick particular has been going um, online and talking about having a baby at Woodlawn. So again, we have a wide variety of physicians for you to choose from. Yeah, and you know, I've got to say, um, you do have a wide uh, variety, not only in the OB department, but through the entire company. And as COVID hit and as mm -hmm. we, uh, slowly are still recovering from COVID. Uh, you see a lot of times people, businesses that are struggling to um, get or maintain employees. Woodlawn seems to be adding new doctors, it seems like at least every week sometimes. Correct, what we want to do though is serve the population. For example, in Akron, we recently hired a, a bilingual nurse practitioner to serve the Hispanic community um, of Akron, and we're very excited about that, and we see that growing as well. Yeah, and I gotta say, that's one thing you guys always seem to look at the the broader picture yes. that we're on. Not necessarily, uh, well, you know, we have 25 doctors, we're good to go. You're going, well, Akron has a large Hispanic community mm -hmm. uh, who speak more Hispanic or more Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> brain doesn't want to work this yeah, right. more Spanish than they do English mm -hmm. and you guys went well let's solve that by giving a bilingual doctor and not only that but working with the community and community leaders yeah so uh, that's how we really found out what was going on and what the needs were by reaching out and talking to those community leaders who are just uh, fantastic to work with again opened up our eyes and we're just happy we're able to contribute positively yes you know uh, we hear uh, you on our radio quite often in the uh, commercial that you guys have done and that you did where you're mm -hmm. telling not only who you are but a little bit more about Woodlawn and you say we're going to be a part of your community even more right. and that right. seems to be the case. You guys are continually uh, going out and saying hey how can we help Fulton County Correct. and surrounding areas be even better than we are. We want to earn the right to care. Yes for our community and by doing that, we can't do it by being in a box. 
We've got to get out there. We've got to find out what the needs are. And we've got to address those needs in the best way that we can. We're not going to be uh, everything for everybody, but we're going to provide those services necessary uh, to have a viable hospital, which in turn does what? Brings economic growth to Fulton County, which we want to see. Absolutely, and it's great to have uh, a business in town that thinks like that. Um, you know, a lot of people just go, oh, it's just a hospital, but uh, as we've it's talked numerous times, the hospital is a business. Yes. And uh, you've done very well at uh, some of your other locations at kind of helping the business regroup and get back to where it needed to mm -hmm. be. And it seems like Woodlawn's starting to head in that direction. We well. are. And it's, again, it's exciting. But my, I give credit to the people. Yes. Not me. It's the people that make it happen. And again, excellent people mean excellent outcomes, mean excellent care. Yes. Um, you know, one of the things I hear in the, the Woodlawn mm -hmm. uh, commercials is extraordinary care. Yes. And that seems to be what we're seeing more and more of at Woodlawn Hospital. So I know uh, Woodlawn uh, still planning to grow. I know you guys are wrapping up or starting to get close to wrapping up a, a project there at the, just off of the hospital. Correct. Uh, that's the, uh, the Fulton Clinic that is downtown here. We'll be moving it to our campus, <clears throat> which makes a lot of sense because now we have a whole medical community. Yeah. And folks don't have to travel far for this or that. We're right there for you. So that's openly going to get open April, May-ish. Okay, so it sounds like we're still that, right on target date. Yes. All right, all right. Um, and I'm sure we'll see Woodlawn continue to grow, um, keeping up with the technology as you guys continue to bring in new technology Correct. that hasn't been at the hospital before. Correct. You, you have to stay up with technology because, again, to deliver excellent care, extraordinary care, you have to have extraordinary equipment as well. Yes, and uh, sometimes it's it's hard to decide, do we want to go this way and get this machine, or do we want to go this way and not get this machine? And it seems like here lately you guys have been kind of meeting in the middle right. on just about everything. And that uh, having a good board that goes, things yes. like, you know, we, we need to have the best possible equipment to be able to provide the best care, that helps a lot. Definitely. Our board is phenomenal, very uh, exceptionally supportive of what we're trying to do. Their mission is our mission, and that is to create a viable, independent hospital. And I think uh, we're on the path to that. Uh, Correct. Woodlawn got their four-star rating again from uh, Medicare this yes. year. Yes. And uh, I'm sure we'll be getting that again uh, in 2024. Well, hopefully we'll get a five-star. I know that's a little bit more difficult because of our size, but you know, you gotta reach for, for those stars. Yes, you know. yes. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, anything else you want to discuss while we've got you in here today? Yeah, we have the candy sale going on tomorrow, 8 oh, to 4. Right. want to invite the public to come on down. That's going to benefit uh, our employee fund, so we can have that little stuff for our employees' help. It really, it's an employee assistance fund. Uh, employees that are down on their luck, whatever they need, we're here to help. Okay. Yes, yeah, so the uh, Walker Russo Dime Store will be Correct. in the yep. uh, cafeteria yep. tomorrow. So yes. you can stop on out and buy candy from the Walker Russo dinosaur. I see it on TV all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm going, man, I need to go there. And here's the opportunity. Well, exactly. And they'll bring their store down to us. So oh, yeah. Last time we had it was great. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, I think I'll be out tomorrow to probably buy some candy. All my right. wife might yell at me for it. But, hey, you know what? It's Walker Russo dinosaur candy. You can't beat that. I, I agree. Well, I'm we're <laughs> seeing you there. All right. Well, thank you so much, Alan. Thank and, you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again soon. Very good. Thank you again. It's a... Uh...